Hello friends, um, this devotion is going to be taken from Exodus, part of the story, but basically the general story, um, the main story in, in chapter 16 of Exodus. And then we're going to focus in on verses 32 to 35. Before we begin, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your love towards us. Thank you for giving us counsel as to how we can grow that garden of grace which you have entrusted into us to tend. May your Holy Spirit guide us as we continue to seek counsel from you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Alright, so story is that um, the children of Israel had manna um, given to them. They complained. They wanted meat. God gave them the meat. Then afterwards, um, he started talking about the manna again. And what, how they should gather the manna, an oma per person. Remember that, an oma per person for the day. One each day. Two on Friday, the Sabbath. Some people didn't go along with that, they thought, okay then. We're not going to go hungry today. We want some, some, some food. We we want some fresh food for tomorrow. Cause you know, some for some reason they must have thought that God wasn't going to do what He promised to do for them in not letting the manna rot for the next day. Because normally it would rot the next day, but in this case it didn't. So they went out to um gather on the Sabbath there was nothing there and then God said you know stay in your tents don't go out doing these things on the Sabbath it's the day for you to rest and then at the end verse 32 on to the end and Moses said this is the thing which the Lord commandeth fill an omer to be kept for your generations that they may see the bread I have fed you in the wilderness when I brought you forth from the land of Egypt. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a pot and put an omer full of manna therein and lay it up before the Lord to be kept before for, for your generations. As the Lord commanded Moses, so Aaron laid it up before the testimony to be kept. And the children of Israel did eat manna forty years until they came to a land inhabited. They did eat manna until they came unto the borders, borders of the land of Canaan. Now an omer is the tenth part of an eva. An omer. God said to store that experience is the knowledge that he'll take care of all your needs daily into the inner recesses of the mind. They put it into the Ark of the Covenant, which I haven't studied it fully, but it's the evidence is growing that 
it does represent at least part of the faculties of the mind. And also, it's clear from the text itself that it was so that the children, your generations, should remember. Remember what God has done for you when it comes to providing for your needs. Remember that he had provided for your needs in the past. If you have had that experimental knowledge and if you haven't, learn from those who have and who can remember. And then you can gain an experience and start to remember yourself of the things God has done for you personally. Of how he gave you strength for the day. Strength enough. When we have days where we lose that connection. It's not because God didn't give us enough strength. It's because either we neglected seeking and grasping the strength or we just took too much on for that day. If you're in a situation where you have to take a huge amount on, God's strength will be there for you. But if you're in a situation where you just feel like you should, you just want to, you just cannot control yourself and you overdo it, then it's on you, <laughs> it's your fault. But God has promised and his promise will never fail that he will give you enough strength for each and every day. He'll give you that omar of manna every day. So remember this when you think about this story in the Bible. Remember that you should be storing the memories of that oma of manna that you'd received before. These things will help you in your journey. God bless.